lens that knows about different of what is going in the uh, air. So it gives me the second lens and they are going to do some atrocity. Who has to question that was there? Only the lawyers can alone the question that was we have the police. None other can do that. We are the first. We are the first. Who are the first? Even maybe in IG or the police constable, and who have the authority, we are having the power to question it. <laughs> the Indian police are exceptional, a redundant velocity of pandemic, the crimes of problems after letting it happen. The public police contract involve only the law enforcement, the public order maintenance, intelligence collections of the basic trust on which our police work, and manning the enormous, enormous population of this magnitude, which has such vast diversity, no doubt it's a dynamic task, but the priorities of our police force have been misplaced and the building of police force on massive scale or the skills to raise the suspicion. The existing police act uh, represents the colonial mode and is designed to serve the interests of the ruling and uh, ruling establishment. This is the most important one thing I wanted to say. The first police commission appointed in 1860 has made its recommendation only with the community in mind. And it sets that the functions of police are either the protective or repressive or detective. It is deplorable to know that even after 63 years after the independence that in India, the laws governing the police in India have not been changed. The existing police act tends to create only force substantiate to the interest of the ruling the establishment. The said that lays down the, the, the duties of the police or to obey orders of superiors and collect intelligence, prevent and detect offences. The act does not suggest even slightly that giving service to the people and working closely to gain their that trust is also the duty of the police, which the norms of the modern uh, police everywhere. The colonial police setup <laughs> was found to be unsatisfactory even by the British rulers themselves. The police commission in 1902 it is very clearly elaborated as been said. Itself so found that the colonial police force <coughs> set up by the Britishers themselves was less efficient. See, why should I say that when, when we go to police station, we have to give respect, otherwise you have to say, sir, this, that, otherwise they will get annoyed. Even the normal people, see, I am not joking, see, because these are the problems we are facing in uh, today. So therefore, because of uh, shortage of time, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Prabhupada, and uh, for that great suggestion. Let me share with uh, all of you that Mr. Prabhakaran was a bodybuilder of a big dispute, and he was Mr. Mr. Tamil Nadu. So, before differing between think twice, <laughs> some, some, I was expecting some uh, discussion. I would like to just be in two three minutes. I will uh, finish off. I wanted to uh, invite the attention of the house on the appraisal system of the performance of the police. How many police officers? The police officers are appraised on the basis of the convictions that they achieve. They are not given. They are not judged on the basis of the quality of uh, investigation. That the appraisal has to be more transparent, appraisal has to be more justified, and appraisal has to be non partial. If a, if a person with uh, impeccable integrity is bypassed by a person of questionable integrity, it's a terribly demoralizing factor. I was expecting some uh, comments on that. Second point that uh, is, uh, Mr. Venkatesan is sitting here. <laughs> the second point is the nexus of the police with the media and the effect of the media on the investigation quality. <coughs> this, this tendency of getting your photograph published in the uh, latest copy of Hindu that I have uh, caught this man, I have caught this man, I have done this, I have done this. This has to stop. Therefore, the police has to sensitize, has to be sensitized that they should not unnecessarily intermeddle with the media. 
If they stop going and meddling with the media, media will also not come to them, media will also not pay attention to them, and media <laughs> will restrict it to a very responsible news reporting. That would be another factor. Third factor which is not considered by anybody is this, the ratio of the citizen and police. What is the ratio? We are hopelessly low. Why are we not, why are we not employing more constables? Why are we not having more police stations? Why are we not having more police officers? You, this can be done. In state of Uttaranchal, I don't know whether any of you comes from Uttaranchal, Uttarakhand now. The, there is a institution called village police. Though I was, when I was the chief justice of that state, I denigrated that system that, that, that should not be there. But all the youth, all the unemployed youth could be given at least 1000 rupees or 1500 rupees and should be, could be used as the assisting uh, the police system. That will take care of our unemployment also. Why should the literate village youth who, who unnecessarily rose and add <laughs> to the crime? <laughs> because empty mind is devil's workshop. So why can't he be utilized as a para-police force? Let a para-police force be created so as to control the crime. Fourth, then there has to be a separation of duty. Unfortunately, though the readers, though the, the speakers did refer to that, but there has to be a definite separation of duties of a police officer. Uh, investigating concept, we call it writer Jamada. We have writer Jamada. His only job is to write in the police station in that horribly illegible handwriting. <laughs> All of us, all of us, when we read the charge sheets, we, we understand what is what and what is not. So, there has to be a last but the least. Last but the least. What about the human rights of the police? What about the human rights? There is always a, a, a shout that he has done this, he has done that. But have you looked into the conditions of his service? Have you looked at his human rights? Have you looked at the injustices that he has to bear? Have you considered that a constable has to live in a one and a half room squatter without any electricity or without any? Have you considered that he doesn't have, he has to bear the uh, cold in those canvas shoes? Are you considerate towards the human rights of the police? Human rights of the police is also a subject we'll have to be. Last but not the least, even at the cost of self -worth. I don't agree that the police are to be blamed. I don't agree that the lawyers should go to the police station. Lawyers, it is not the lawyer's job to go to the police station. They should not go to the police station. When the lawyers come, I have nothing against, uh, look here, my, both the parents were lawyers, my, both the children are lawyers. My son is a lawyer, my daughter-in-law is a lawyer, I am a lawyer, my wife is a lawyer. And so are my, my mother was also a lawyer, my father is also a lawyer. I come from a lawyer's family having 19 lawyers in our, none of us has ever visited the police station. None of us have ever th thought of painting the stones and the board. <laughs> None of us have thought of boycotting the board. <laughs> can we, can the lawyers say that we boycott the board and it is our right? <coughs> Further, beyond, by becoming a lawyer, do you have any special rights other than the other citizens? When a person is jabbed in the open by the police, have you ever bothered about a common man being chapped on the public corner? Have you closed the court on that account? But let it be a lawyer, you immediately come. That is your unity. Good! You must have the unity. There is no question about it. But that unity has to be used for the constructive works, not for the
the restricting words. When somebody throws an egg to the sitting high court, in the high court, what did you do? <coughs> Is the question. There are so many things. When you ransack the corridors of the court, break the glass panes of the courts and dance before the court when the court is uh, in session, is it the task? That is the... We, all brothers and sisters, the time has come when we all, not, I am also not exempt, I am a judge, I am not exempt, we must introspect what we are doing. Therefore I say that the serious introspection Am I true to my thought? Am I doing my duty? Am I doing properly in doing a particular thing? If we all introspect and if we all really uh, start doing these things, it is, there is a beautiful Bengali uh, poem. Ke loibe, ke loibe amar karjo bollo shondhya rubi. Who will do the task of lighting the world? Ask the setting sun. This is Tagore. Shunya shara jagot roilo nirutta chobi. When this question was asked, the whole world came to a standstill and stopped silent like a picture. Matir prodi chilo shibullo shami. There was a small earthen lamp. It said, My Lord, Amar jetuku hoibe kori go shiva ami. Jitna mere se ho sakta hai, mai to karunka. Let's resolve that whatever I can do, I will do. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we don't have any time. I'm sorry we could not give any time to you.